I'm here in downtown Chicago where Southeast Indiana native and American hero Kelsey Lanehart just competed in the Chicago Triathlon and she did it with a purpose. The triathlon was brought up by my physical therapist and I definitely would have said no. But there was one reason why she said yes. Maureen Corporal Kelsey Lanehart competed in Saturday's race with a simple mission to honor her fellow soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice in Kabul, Afghanistan on August 26, 2021. I really just did it to honor the 13 um, since it's a day past the one year anniversary. So it, felt, it feels pretty good to honor them in this way. And the East Central graduate was left paralyzed from that attack, but continues to make progress as she rehabs in Chicago and on Saturday with family and friends cheering her on and her boyfriend right by her side, Lanehart competed in all three stages of the triathlon from swimming to hand cycle to the racing chair. And it was a proud moment for her parents when Kelsey crossed the finish line. Where she was out a year ago. And and where she's today, um, it's, it's night and day. And to see how she's come, how far she's come along, uh, the strength and mobility she's got and the independence that she has, um, it's very proud. And for Kelsey, finishing the grueling triathlon came by using that same fighting spirit that she uses to recover and get stronger every day. And after Saturday's race, she took a moment to share a message with those back home in Southeast Indiana. Um, I just want to thank everyone that's ever supported me, ever donated money, sent cards, letters. You know, I definitely didn't expect like that kind of outpour of support, and I just I really appreciate it. It's been a big help to me and my family. And the Dearborn County native continues to spend most of her time in Chicago, but has now progressed to be able to come home from time to time. And whether you talk to Kelsey or her parents, one thing they want to make sure everyone knows is to never forget those who gave their all on August 26th. Just the support over Kelsey, our family has just been amazing. And just to know that, you know, there are so many still good people out there. It's, I mean, it's hard touching to us. And, you know, I just want to make sure that the community remembers the 13 that were killed in action that day. You know, there's a lot of families hurting right now. So just remember all of them, pray for them and pray for complete healing for Kelsey. And Kelsey says her next goal is to take a road trip. Now, this story was brought to you by our friends at Stonebridge Trucking. It's American-owned and American-driven. Reporting in Chicago, I'm Stephen Harmeyer.